Today, we will be taking a look at immutable distros, what they are, and which ones you can use. An immutable Linux distro is a Linux distro that doesn't allow you to edit important system files, even if you have administrative privileges. This makes your system more stable and secure since malware can't access your system. If you upgrade your system, instead of a normal upgrade, which writes the changes directly to the OS, it does what's called an atomic upgrade, which downloads the updated version and replaces your current version with the updated version. If something goes wrong, you can safely revert to the previous version and try again. Immutable distros also use containerized or sandboxed apps instead of traditional apps, therefore preventing apps from accessing parts of the system that they shouldn't. With regards to the immutable distros themselves, there are several, but today we will take a look at five popular ones. Vanilla OS is an Ubuntu-based, beginner-friendly distro, although the next version will be based on Debian SID. It uses GNOME for its desktop environment, like most immutable distros on this list, and it also uses the AB root system, which generates a new root partition when making transactions, so that if something goes wrong, it can revert to the previous root partition. It also has its own package manager called APX, although in the next version, PKExec will replace sudo and VSO will become the package manager. One cool feature about vanilla is that you can install any package you want, whether it's deb, RPM, Flatpak, or App Image. Fedora Silverblue is an immutable version of Fedora and is the first immutable distro. Silverblue uses the OS tree system to upgrade the OS. Fedora is known for being the perfect distro. It's cutting edge while still being stable, and it's also user friendly, extremely secure, and known for innovation, being one of the first to adopt Wayland and the first to adopt Pipewire, Flatpaks, Immutable Distros, Portals, and the list goes on. This is no different with Silverblue, although, because Silver's, Silverblue is immutable, it's even more stable and secure. OpenSUSE MicroOS is a rolling release immutable distro, a match made in heaven. It has the latest packages due to being rolling release, although the packages are very thoroughly tested. OpenSUSE is known for a flexible configuration tool called YAST, and while it's currently not available for immutable systems like MicroOS, they are working on a containerized version. Geeks is an immutable distro by the GNU project. It's fully free as in freedom and open source, meaning there's no proprietary codecs and software. While this may sound great, it also means geeks will not be able to play a lot of videos, movies, and other content that requires codecs. Geeks may also not run on some hardware or use Wi-Fi due to not supporting the drivers and codecs. It also is a more stable, less frequently updated distro, and it's a great distro, but not very beginner friendly. Geeks also comes with its own package manager called Geeks. Endless OS is an easy to use, feature packed distro made for students and non tech savvy people. It works offline, has an intuitive, nice looking interface, and has a lot of apps installed by default. Even more available apps. One of the goals of Endless OS is to provide computers and systems for more people and, quote, close the digital divide. Endless also partnered with Asus to make affordable laptops running Endless OS. Ubuntu is a very popular, easy to use distro with a ton of features and apps. They have had an immutable distro for IoT devices for a while now called Ubuntu Core, but now they're coming out with a desktop version for normal use called Ubuntu Core Desktop. It's expected to release in 2024. Like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss our awesome Linux and tech videos and join the Penguin Byte Discord community with the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.